Hey guys, so today we're gonna learn two additional techniques that you can use to create those organic, natural looking blurred backgrounds. So if you already have the first one created, just duplicate it and then fill it with a rectangle. And this is gonna be our starting point. So pick the fill color and change it to a radial gradient. And then pick the same color on both sides of the gradient. So I'm starting with the orange that we already have in the example on the left. And with a radial gradient, the color that's in the middle of the frame here is the center of the gradient. So the other color is the outer edge. So that other color, the bottom one, should be fully transparent for this effect to work. So we'll try to recreate something similar to the original image. So my orange gradient is actually starting on the right side here and then it fades to the left. So let's just create this effect and this is how it should look like. Now what's really cool that both in Sketch and Figma you can actually create multiple radial gradients on one shape. So just add another one and move it into the right position. So I'm just gonna add a yellow one at the bottom using the exact same principle and then a darker orange one on the top left. Now you can go into every one of those gradients and drag the handle to the top, to the left or to the side until the gradient looks exactly how you want it or until all of the colors blend perfectly together. And you can easily modify it based on the content that you decide to put on top of it. I'm just gonna copy and paste a little part of our glass morphic shape. So the main difference with this technique compared to the other one is that you only have one object, one rectangle with three colors inside it instead of three blurred images. And of course you can combine both those techniques as well, but let me show you a third one right now. So I duplicate the frame again, remove everything, and now here comes the fun part. So I went to unsplash.com and just found a photo that is basically all about being orange. So it's as orange as it gets without being an orange. And I just paste this photo onto the frame and give it a layer blur. And obviously it's not gonna be the same because the photo is blurring with the shadows and the highlights in specific places, but it can also lead to a very nice blur that works well with glass morphism. So you can try this method as well if you want. And you can also copy the layer from the previous frame and just paste it in on top and then modify the opacity a little bit or just move those around until it merges with the photo. So you can have a lot more layers of blending background blur together and using all of these techniques combined can lead to some very interesting results. So just try it out and be curious and be playful with it. Remember that exercises like this are all about having some fun. So just have some fun and explore. So yeah, that's it today. So these are the three basic simple to follow techniques that you can use to create those nice looking organic blurred backgrounds. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Cheers.